Guatemala image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I make a lot of styling content here, primarily through vintage finds, but also on my Wednesdays, I have a lot of fun with fashion. So if you do like that kind of content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Before I start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the comments in last week's video. I'm so glad you guys loved it. I am cracking up. I truly love, love reading your comments. Thank you guys for your feedback on that. And <laughs> I'll definitely come up with more scenarios where I think you could definitely thrift that. So for, I just really wanted to say thanks so much for the feedback on that. This week, also from comments, I wanted to do something where I'm utilizing my closet because there are a lot of people who are like, oh, I want to see you like thrift your closet, use things from your closet. And because summer is upon us, I decided to see what summer trends that I already have in my closet and really see if I can make my closet work for these trends. So to help me, I went on cosmopolitan.com. They have a list of, you know, main trend items for summer 2022. And I thought I'd use that as a guide and see what I have in my closet. Now, based on this article there are eight main trends that they have zoned in on the first of which is crochet which we've definitely talked about here on this channel and I've you know picked a few pieces up um, I have like a crochet top so I think I have something for this category there are maybe one or two categories that might be a little dicey <laughs> But I'll continue reading them off for you. So the first one, as I said, is crochet. And they have shown a few designer pieces. They have Anna Sui. This is a very colorful um, head to toe like crochet look. The next one they have is Alberta Ferretti. Alberta Ferretti is one of my favorite um, designers. And I absolutely love this look. I think I'll try to do a version of this look. The other designer they had for this was Gabriella Hearst in this like crochet dress and I love the color and the print on this but I definitely think I'm channeling I'm gonna channel Alberta Ferretti in this um, full like tan tonal look I'm loving I'm still loving tonal and that one is just speaking to me and I think I have enough in my closet to pull that off <laughs> Next on the list is Neon. Now they have here, they have this aqua type dress by Versace. They have this nice like limey green yellow by Valentino, this one shoulder dress. And then they have this like um, short suit in like this neony pink by Dior. Um, I do have a pink suit. I've worn pink on this channel before it's more like a rich pink i don't think it's so much neon so i'm gonna have to go in my closet to see what i can find that would fit that neon um trend so we'll see <laughs> Next on the list, this I know I definitely don't have in my closet, but what can I do to give that catsuit look is what I'll try. And maybe it will kind of pass for a catsuit, maybe? <laughs> but in here they have this one by uh, Gucci. They have one by Saint Laurent. And they also have this like leopard print one from L'Envan. And yeah, I definitely don't have a catsuit, but maybe I can come up with something, you know? <laughs> Next on the list is Y2K trends. Now, I, I'm not so sure how I feel about Y2K. You know, it was just yesterday. I lived through it. I think I enjoyed it while it happened. Do I, am I ready to go back to Y2K? I'm, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but based on the article they have here, this uh, full blue um, denim set by Blue Marine. They also have this like colorful, this is, you know, this is what I'm saying. You know, you're doing Y2K, but why is it Y2K for when I was 10 years old? Which is what this is reminding me when I'm looking at the Kalina Strada. This, yeah, it's very, I'm going by the poolside kind of look. It's It's very, it's very youthful. So I don't think I would definitely, I definitely don't think I'd veer 
this side of the Y2K, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they also have this one by Kim Sui. Um, I certainly remember those little spaghetti halter top dress. I don't believe I have any such thing in my closet, but um, I think I can find something Y2K-S. It was all about like a good halter top. Um, so yeah, I do have, I should be able to find a halter top to go Y2K. Yes? I think so. <laughs> Next, you know, this has been controversial since the Miu Miu Uber mini skirt hit the runway. The mini mini skirt for 2022. They also have a Prada. Prada has this mini with this long um, train in the back. And then they also have this mini by Balmain. So for me, now there's a way to wear it that's age appropriate, I think. And I definitely think that less is more. For me, if I'm showing legs, I like to be a little more cover up elsewhere. So when I think of a mini mini skirt, that's, that's, that's definitely what I go towards. Keep the legs on play and you know, just keep it nice and dressed elsewhere if you're with me. So that's, <laughs> that's how I love to do a good mini. It's hot. You know, you want to enjoy your legs being out while you can, especially if you live in a colder climate. And yeah, that's, that's my, that's my mini, that's my mini look. <laughs> the next thing they have are geometric bras. Now, bra tops tend to come back in every summer. It is still on the trend list for this summer. I did pick up a few uh, swim tops that I could use, but I had other swim tops that I'm thinking, you know, I could lighten things up a little bit. Under the geometric bras, they have this one by Maryam Nasir Zadeh. I'm not familiar with this designer, but this one is just a typical, you know, black bikini top. I think you can find that anywhere if you wanted to try this look. Um, they also have this one by Brandon Maxwell. I love the whole suit idea. If you're not one for a midriff, I definitely think this in a high waist would also work for, for you know, the geometric bra top, which is just, you know, those little triangle um, bikini tops. And I love that they threw this one in from Coach. I do, you know, love a little Coach action every now and then, and I'm glad to see Coach back into, you know, um, ready to wear. So I love the colors, I love the print on this and that little purple um, balancing out that yellow green aspect. I, you know, I get it. <laughs> so I think I should have something to work for this, you know, geometric bra trend as for Cosmopolitan. The next trend, the seventh trend they have is sheer. Now, I definitely have something that I can play. I don't play a lot in sheer too much. But when it comes to summer, I get it. We, there's going to be a day when we don't want to wear anything and sheer is going to be what <laughs> you wish you had. So I definitely think I can find something to throw on in this sheer category. So for sheer, they have this like sheer skirt by Chanel. I think that's just with like a Chanel swimsuit. It's more like a, you know, more chic beach wear, which I I'm here for. They also have this one by Christian Cowen. I love the color of this. Um, it's quite daring. It's definitely quite daring. I'm not sure how I'd wear this, but I do love the colors. <laughs> it's very sunsetty to me. I love the shape of it. I love how the cutout scoops. Um, I'd have to find some kind of um, strapless bodysuit to wear under this, but I, 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 like, I like the shape and I love the color of this. And then this one by Caperni. Um, it's just a metallic with a little sheer. Um, none of these are exactly speaking to me. I think the closest to me is the Chanel. I don't think I have a sheer skirt, but I'm sure I have something sheer in my closet that will definitely work for this trend. The final trend they have is that of the cutout. Again, it's so hot. There are going to be days where you're praying that, you know, you had a little more ventilation. I get it. It's not for everyone, but I can, you know, as it's beginning to get warm, we go from very cool to very hot and humid almost overnight here. So I can get the need for some cutouts. Do I have any cutouts in my closet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This should be one of the easiest things that I should find, but actually I'm, I'm going to have to dig deep <laughs> to 
to find a cutout, which is, you know, it's not the strangest thing, but I, I'm not, I'm gonna have to dig deep for a cutout, but <laughs> these are the eight, you know, main trends by Cosmopolitan. I think, I think I'm set for, for summer 2022 based on this list. So guys, that's it. Thank you for playing along. I really enjoyed doing this little test <laughs> and I think I'm okay for summer 2022 trends. I might need to find one or two more things, but so far I think I, you know, I think I'm on a good footing for this. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite and if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join the family and if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.